Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to channel Skyrim and the Dragonborn DLC. Now, I'm going to be doing a couple of quick videos showing you some interesting bits and bobs you can pick up from Niloth in Tel Mithrin. In this video, I'll be showing you how to get a unique spell called the Whirlwind Cloak. Okay, let's crack on. So I go to Tel Mithrin, speak to Niloth. Ash spawn attacks my house, and even my steward is assassinated. Curse these heart stones. I've okay, is there a problem? Difficulties with my heart stone experiments. Have you heard of the Briar Hearts? What they about are them? Fierce warriors of the Forsworn tribes. They actually remove their own hearts and replace them with large briar seeds. It puts their life sparks in direct connection to the natural forces. I need you to examine one of them. Just investigate as much as you can. I'm going to put this memory trace spell on you, so you won't have to worry about taking notes. I doubt you could know what was important anyway. Okay, so what you got to do is go and kill a Briar Heart somewhere. So you have to travel to Skyrim to do it. Um, obviously, each of us will find a Briar Heart in a different location. So all you do is kill them, then uh, harvest uh, their Briar Heart, and return to Tel Mithrin. He will then send you to a random location looking for a book called The Wind and Sand. So you grab that, and then you return to Tel Mithrin. I'm kind of making it look like this is a real quick operation, but this took me absolutely hours to do. Now, one way you can do it is uh, you always have to do the Bright Heart one, um, but you can quick save before you go back for the second book, The Wind and Sand, um, until he actually sends you somewhere which is a bit uh, easier, if you like. Anyway, once you've got the book, The Wind and Sand, go back and speak to there Nilof. Are too many coincidences. There must be someone. Behind all the book was right where Perhaps you said it would be. this particular source was worth more than I thought he was. Did it? In any case, this is truly amazing. I think I can adapt this into a sort of whirlwind vortex energy. Yes, yes. I'll write it out. And you can pick up a copy from Talnus in a few days. In the meantime, take this for helping me. Okay, so what you've got to do now is leave the uh, house and wait outside for two days. And once the two days up, pop back in again and speak to his steward. Now, by this time, he should have loads of decent spells um, to, to pick up. Good day, friend. So, speak you to Talvis. What do you got for sale? <laughs> I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. Okay. The few spots I want to get. I want to get Ash Rune, Ash Shell. I've got plenty of money. It doesn't matter. And if you go through all these spells, he's got a lot of good ones. That could be quite handy, actually. I might take that. Yep, I'll take that. Already got the Ash Guardian. Oh. Actually, that's, hmm, Ash Spawn, I'll think about that one. And there are loads and loads of decent spells here. Absolutely tons. And the one we've come for is this one, the Whirlwind Cloak. So, we'll buy that. And, uh, yeah. Happy Days, that's a unique spell. No mods, no cheats, it's, it's a straight up unique spell. I don't think you can get this anywhere else, so uh, I think it's worth coming from. Anyway, we'll pop outside and we'll have a look at it. Now the first thing I want to check is see what it does to your followers and uh, uh, friendly NPCs. Okay, go down here, got these two little deers. Let's get it hooks up. Where are you? Come to daddy. Where are you? Whirlwind shell. Uh, whirlwind cloak. Not whirlwind shell, whirlwind cloak. Might as well get all these on now. Uh, yeah, 
go. I've already got that equipped. Okay. Uh, which one's it under? Uh, alteration? No. Illusion? No. Got to be destruction. There you go. Right. Let's give this a go. Okay, so if I run at uh, this guy here, see what happens. Hello, Fred. Pardon? Absolutely nothing. Okay, so that's good, good to know. To you me. can't hurt NPCs and get bounties and stuff like that. So run at the followers. Nope, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, let's go and cause some mischief in town. Okay, so I think I'll pick a fight with Mogrel because he's a bit of a cock. And uh, I'm actually trying to kill people just to see if the, uh, <laughs> the guards attack me. And there you go. Old Neil off his sent flying. And he's sent flying. And he's not. So it is. there's a chance to send your uh, enemies flying. And he's not flying either. So I might come back later on and he may go flying then. The idea is not to kill these guys, it's just see if the, uh, the cloak spell works. And just keep them annoyed. And he went flying. So can you see, actually... There you go. There's a chance, uh, I'm guessing it's probably a 30 or 20 or 30% chance, maybe, 10%. But still, it could be happy. It, it could be handy, sorry. <laughs> oh, I killed him. <laughs> you see, he's not touching any of the NPCs that are friendly or not hostile to me. Yeah. He went frying, yep. He went frying, yeah, yeah, so so we can see it's a quite a handy spell. You can't rely on it 100% to, to save and send them all frying. But then again, it would be completely OP if it did, uh, if it actually did that. So, all in all, I think this is definitely a spell worth, definitely worth getting. Absolutely worth getting. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed this, guys. You can see my absolute crap <laughs> melee combat skills. Um, so yeah, I think it's uh, worth getting, especially for a melee build. It doesn't use too much magicka and uh, and it can pull you out of a tight spot. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed it, found it useful, and I'll see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.